Number one, you need mentors. Mentors are amazing. Mentors can do anything for you. They can introduce new people to you. They can open doors for you. And most importantly, they can educate you in a specific industry that you want to get in. Mentors can be found easily, for free, immediately on the internet. You can find them via LinkedIn, on Google, or even offline. You can use your university, you can use mutual relationships, mutual networks to get access to those people. But find yourself a mentor immediately, especially if you're still a student. Because while you're still a student, it's a lot easier to get yeses from people when you ask something to them. Hey inventors, I'm Simon. I'm an engineer and a tech founder. And in this channel, we talk about productivity and career tactics for engineers. In this video, I'm sharing the five things I wish I knew before measuring in industrial engineering and what you can use immediately to boost your career expectations and even your future salary. So be aware, you can use these five things to improve your engineering life permanently. And now back to the video. Number two, international is better than national. Think in a global way. Engineers with an international background earn more money, their career grows faster, and they have access to job positions that are usually precluded to those without an international background. So don't be afraid, think in a global way and be a global worker, even if for a short period of time, during which anyway, stay assured, you will gain significant experience and network. Both things will stay with you for the rest of your life. If you like this video, hit the like button below. It would encourage me to do better next time. And most importantly, it would help me to reach more engineers, more engineering students, and in general, more people interested to these specific kind of topics. So come on, hit the like button below. And now let's continue. Number three, this is a tough one. Speed is crucial. 90% of the engineering world is about speed, about going quick and wide, not slow and deep. Even if you want to be a researcher, the one who actually should go slow and deep, get used to speed anyway, because universities are going to ask you many, many papers while you are still working on your research. Unfortunately, engineering students are usually trained on perfectionism at the expense of any understanding of speed. So be aware that unless you're going to work in a super regulated market, such as healthcare or satellite manufacturing, in many, many cases, your employer will prefer speed over perfectionism. So get used to it and try to make some practice. Number four, build up your character. Get used to working with people that you don't necessarily love. Because in university, you can usually decide who to study with, who to hang out with, while in the real life, you can't. And actually, there are many jerks, let's say, especially in the tech industry. Fortunately, if you're going to build your own tech startup, you are going to become your own gatekeeper and you will avoid hiring jerks. But anyway, make sure that your character is in place, be a professional person and don't take it personally. And number five, the toughest one. You ready? The best engineers think like marketers. As engineers, we love to invent, we love to build, sometimes even for its own sake. But when you are hired by an employer, he is doing that because there are customers who have a problem and they are paying that employer to get the solution to that problem. So it doesn't count if your customer is a consumer, is a little company, is a huge company. It's always the same. They have a problem and you are paid to build a solution to that problem. So the sooner you understand that you have to deeply embrace and understand, again, the consumer psychology in the case of the consumer or the company mechanics in the case the customer is another company, the better it will be for you, the higher will be your value. And, you, and this is actually how to become irreplaceable in those companies. And this is how to have other employers doing anything to try to steal you from your existing one. If you want to start learning more about marketing, just go with This Is Marketing by Seth Godin. This is a super, super good book, super easy. So it's just to get your hands on it. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button below and feel free to subscribe. I would up at least one video per week and let me know in the comments if there is something that you want me to talk about specifically. In the meantime, stay tuned.